Happy New Year. It's been a while. I'm so sorry about that. It's the holiday. Got in my way. We took a little time off. We went back east. Now we're back. And if you are like me, <laughs> you've got a stack of Christmas cards from your lovely friends, right? And then what, right? I love them. I love seeing what everybody's up to. But now I'm just like, okay, this is in my corner of my counter. Now what do I do, right? Okay, so I've been doing this for a couple years. I take my old Christmas cards that people send me and I turn them into either sentiment for scrapbooks or tags or, um, or like gift card tags or you can use them for um, cards. This is so awesome. Okay, I'm going to show you exactly what I mean in a second. So what you want to do is you want to go through your stack and you want to find cards that have designs that you can easily cut out, okay? So for example, let's say I like this one. It just says cheers. Um, this would be a great one for me to cut out. So I'm going to stick that to the side. This one, hopefully my friend Spencer from Sola is watching that I'm going to cut out his card. Um, but this is another good one because it has this Merry Christmas at the top. Isn't Spencer's family just gorgeous? I love him. He's one of the awesomest people you'll ever meet. Anyway, he sent me a lovely card. And I did not send cards this year because, um, well, life. Anyway, so, but I can cut this out at the top as well and reuse it. There's ones that you're not going to be able to use, and that's okay. Um, something like this, which is my lovely neighbor's, um, I would not want to cut this out because if I tried to cut out the sentiment here, I'm going to get part of the picture. Okay, so just go through your cards and find the ones that you want. Okay, so I have about, I don't know, five or six. Hi, Mom and Faith, my niece and my mom. Okay, so what, oh, Mom, um, don't let Stephanie, my sister, see this because I'm cutting her cards. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your cards and you're going to put them on a pick scan mat, okay? So what the pick scan mat does is it's a cutting mat, but it brings in your whatever's on there in the exact same size. Um, it does not change the dimension or the size or anything, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to use your phone or your camera and you're going to take a picture of the mat. You want it to be flat, okay? And you want to be able to take a picture straight on, all right? And when I'm done this, I'll show you the exact picture that I used. Actually, I'll be able to show it to you in a second. So then what you're going to do, I'm going to show you the end result, and then I'm going to show you how I got there. What you're going to do is pull the photo that you took of your pick scan mat into Silhouette Studio. You're going to create a cut line, and then you are going to be able to cut out part of that card. And look how perfect, okay? I also add a little um, circle. Can you see that little circle there? So that I can use this as a gift tag. I could also put this on top of um, if I wanted to make a card for someone next year. It has uh, my little precious niece's face on the back. But if I use this on a card, no one will ever know, right? Okay. All right, so there's that. Now I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this with this card. Now here's the thing. Once you take a picture of your pick scan mat with the item on there, don't let the item move, okay? You want to keep it exactly flat. Now, I'm going to pull you down so you can see Silhouette Studio, so you can see exactly what I did here, okay? And hopefully this will work. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so here's my mat in Silhouette Studio. Now, for this one, I, I tr used the trace tool, and I traced around the area, and then I just did an offset to create the cut line, okay? Now for this one that we're going to do today, I just used the draw a rounded rectangle and I drew a rounded rectangle around the area that I want to cut out, okay? So I'm able to make sure that it doesn't get into this little gold area. I'm just going to get the colors and I'm just going to get the text, okay? And then I used the draw a circle tool and I'm going to add a little circle there so that I can use this as a gift tag on another card, or I mean, so I can use this on a gift tag next year on a, on a bag, okay? All right, then all you're gonna do, this works wonderfully. I actually think it works better um, with the older machines. I think that there may be something with the Cameo 3, um, with the fact that there's the dual carriage, I think that it ends up being a tad bit off. But with my Cameo 2, and my one and my portrait, it works perfectly. Okay, so I'm just gonna load this in, and it works with Cameo 3. You just need to, um, you just need to adjust your, you just need to move your cut line like a smidgen. All right, so here we are. Can you see this? 
Okay. All right. Make sure it's on there. Okay. Then I'm going to just go to my send panel on Silhouette Studio. Now this is thick. Okay. These cards are thick. So I am using the cover stock heavy option. All right. And I'm going to send it through and you're going to see exactly what happens. This is just logo. That's not supposed to happen. Hold on. You guys thought you were the only one. All right. Shh. Shh. Okay. Whoa. <sighs> okay. Hold on. I actually tested it. That's why I took the first one. Let's try again. Okay. Hold on. Woo. That was not good. All right. Let's see. All right. Oh yeah, someone just made a very good point that I do not want to cut out 2018. You are wonderful, Stephanie. See, I knew I had you around for, I knew I messed that up for a reason. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do it just like that. I just adjusted the, the um, where the cut line is. Okay, now I'm gonna send this through and this is what it's like is like a printing cut, okay? Except that the um, registration marks are on the pick scan mat. So you're able to do this on designs and fabric and paper that's already pre printed. Okay? Alright, now watch what's going to happen. Alright, so it's going to go and it's going to find exactly where to cut. Again, you want to make sure that once you set, once you take your picture of this. Um, of your pick scan that so you do not move this and I will also put a blog post on the blog about this but again this is what you're going to end up with something like this you can do it a couple different ways as you can see I did an offset for this one for this one down here I just did a rounded rectangle so it's very easy to do and it's going to come out in just a second and then we'll be able to use them oh this wasn't my sister's card this was my mom's card sorry mom I liked it so much I picked it. I did just do two passes because these are thick. If you get the, you know, the thick um, cardstock cards. So that's what, why it's taken just a second. All right, now I never remove the mat until I make sure that it's cut. And you can see it's cut. All right, so now I can just pull that off. And there you go. So you can use this now. Save these, you know, and you can reuse. Where's my other little guy go? Where'd my other one go? Well, I don't know where I want my Merry Christmas. But anyway, you got this one, all right? All right, so isn't that adorable? And this one's great because the back side is this, you know, just this wood or whatever. So this kind makes a great tag. You can actually write on the back. You could sketch on the back if you want or whatever, all right? All right, so. Go grab, did you already throw them out? Did you already throw them out? If you did, go grab those out of the trash. I was, uh, these would have been gone this weekend. I was supposed to be getting rid of all my, taking all my Christmas stuff down. But, um, well, again, life got in the way and the kids wanted to go to the skate park and I wanted to go shopping. And so we didn't get to the Christmas stuff. So we still have our stockings hung. We still have our whole stack of cards on our island. We have all of our things, right? Okay. All right, guys, let me see how you do it. You, I threw a link up there to grab a pick scan mat. Um, they're on sale right now. I saw on Amazon just a second ago when I went to grab the link for you. They're 10 bucks. Um, you make sure if you have the portrait size that you get that. This is a cameo size. It works in all the cameo machines, okay? And the curio has a pick scan mat as well. So if you have a curio machine, you can do the same thing, okay? All right, guys, I hope you have a fabulous day. I'll see you soon.